If you have two or more people sharing the same computer, you probably want to add a password to your Windows Vista account to limit access by others. The easiest way to set up a password is to create a new user account. When you're in the main administrator account, click on the Start button and select the Control Panel. Then look for the option for User Accounts. Within User Accounts, you can add or remove user accounts, so I'm going to choose that option, and then select Create New Account. Makes sense, right? Next, I'm going to type in the account name. You can use just the first name, first and last, or a nickname, and select whether it's a standard account or an administrator. This one I'm going to set as a standard account. And then finally, I'll click Create Account. Now I can select the account that I just created and set a password. Vista will actually make you enter the password twice. That way you can avoid typos. It's safest to choose a password between 7 and 14 characters that uses a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Don't choose a common word or a name. Try to think of something that no one would ever come up with. Also, the password will be case-specific. That means it makes a difference if you use uppercase or lowercase letters. Below the fields to enter your password, you'll see a field to enter a password hint. The hint will be visible to anyone who uses the computer if they go to the user account section, so you need to be pretty cryptic here too. Now whenever you log into Windows Vista, you can select that account and enter the password to go to your private area. Keep in mind that each user account has its own collection of files, so if you need shared access to any information, you may also want to create a public account for group use. Finally, if you ever need to change or remove your password, or add or remove another account, you can always just go back to the section for user accounts in the control panel to make the necessary changes.